Hi, in this video that's a follow-up to multiplying by a decimal, we're going to take a look at multiplying decimals that have extra zeros in them. So by the end of this video, you should know what to do when you're multiplying a decimal that might have a couple of extra zeros on the end of their numbers. So let's take a look at how to do that. What do I mean by a decimal with a couple extra zeros? Well, this example that's on your screen right now, 2.65 times 40,000, is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you a good way of multiplying these two numbers together in order to get our correct answer. Now, in our last video, we looked at three steps to go through. We had to estimate our answer first, multiply without any decimals, and then place a decimal point in the answer so that there were the same number of decimal places in the answer as there are in the question. And we saw how to do that. Well, we're going to add one extra step to, this, to these um, rules. And here's what it is. After we estimate our answer, what we're going to do is we're going to move the decimal point for each zero being multiplied. Then we're going to continue on with our steps. Now I've got two examples to show you exactly what I mean, so here they are. Here are my two examples for multiplying by a decimal that has some extra zeros in it. This first example is 2.65 times 40,000. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this a little bit as 2.65 lots of 10,000 lots of 4. And I can split that up because 10,000 times 4 is 40,000. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the 2.65 by 10,000. That just means I'm going to move my decimal point to the right for every zero that is there in the question. So 2.65 times 10,000 is going to move the decimal point one, two, three, four spots to the right, making the number 2,6,5,0,0. Zero, zero. And that has to be multiplied by four. So when I multiply this 26,500 by 4, here is the answer that I get. I'm going to write this out as 26500 with a 4 underneath it because this is the algorithm that I'm going to use. And I can start off with two zeros here because 4 times 0 is 0. And I have two of them, so that's what I'm going to have with my answer. 4 lots of 5 is 20, so I get another 0 and I carry the 2. 4 lots of 6 is 24, plus 2 more is 26 and 4, oh, carry the 2, sorry, and 4 lots of 2 is 8, plus 2 more is 10, meaning that my final answer to 2.65 times 40,000 is 106,000. And I kind of gather that that would be my answer because I've got 2.65, which is close to 3, and I'm multiplying it by 40,000. So I'm going to have three forty thousands, which is about 120,000. But I know that my answer is going to be less than that because I'm not quite multiplying by 3, I'm multiplying by something less than 3. Let's take a look at the next question. So in this next question, I have a very small number, 0 0.032, and I'm multiplying by 600. This is the same as doing 0 0.032, multiplying it by 100 times 6. See, multiplying it by 100 will move my decimal point two spots to the right before I need to multiply by 6. So my question is going to be the same as 3.2 multiplied by 6. Now this answer is going to be close to 18 because 3 lots of 18, sorry, 3 lots of 6 is 18. So let's do the multiplication. 3.2 times 6. 2 times 6 is 12, so put the 2 down, carry the 1, and 6 times 3 is 18, plus one more is 19. I need to make sure that my answer has one number after the decimal point, like I did in my last video. So my decimal point will go between the 9 and the 2, making my, num my answer 19.2, which is a little bit more than 18, which is what we expected. And those are our two examples. Okay, so what can you add to your notes that you have from the last video? Well, having a, mi a mini heading of multiplying by a decimal with zeros is a good start. And then add the extra step. After estimating, we move the decimal point right for each zero being multiplied. Then getting down the two examples with the working out is going to be a good idea and something good for you to practice with when you're trying it yourself. And that's it. Hopefully now you know how to multiply by decimal even when they got extra zeros. A really good tip is to estimate first so that you know that your answer is going to be roughly what you thought it was before you began. Good luck.